Borderlands 1 is of course the beginning of the entire Borderlands series and in this game we are introduced to all of the reoccurring companies in the entire Borderlands series. But there is only one company that never shows up again and that of course is SNS Munitions. So for my first Borderlands 1 run I thought it would be best to do an Allegiance run with SNS Munitions while using Brick because well Brick is the best. So while Marcus tells the story of the game I'll start with a few quick rules. And rule number one, of course, is that I can only use SNS munitions items, and this includes weapons, grenade mods, and shields. But I did pretty much completely mess up by choosing Brick because he's the only character that doesn't get an SNS munitions class mod. So that was dumb, but I get to use Brick, so it's worth it. And rule number two is that I can only use my action skill for healing and running away, so basically just anything except for dealing damage with my action skill. As I mean, Brick's fists weren't made with SNS munitions, as far as I know. And as I'm going to start doing runs the entire way through the game from level 1 to max level, I'm going to give myself an extra rule for this game. And rule number 3 will be I need to get every single SNS munitions legendary and unique weapon. And SNS Munitions makes 5 legendary weapons and 1 unique pistol. And I will need all of those before I can finish the run. And finally, it's not a rule, but if I can beat Chromrax at the end of the game, I'll go for the Pelescent Serpent's SNS Munitions Assault Rifle. And then if I do get that, then I would have 100% completed the game while using only SNS Munitions and every SNS Munitions gun. And now that the intro is done, it's time to actually start the game by choosing Brick. And the first item I get in the entire game is an echo communication device, which is made by the Dull Corporation. So I think I've lost the entire challenge already. Good job. But anyway, it turns out that you can't get an SNS munitions at the very start of the game unless if you do this very tedious thing. And that of course would be getting to level 4 without actually fighting anyone. Because you can get a level 4 SNS munitions pistol in the chest on the top of the building. Which I'm hoping everybody knows about because it's the exact same building with the chest when you're fighting Saturn in Borderlands 2. But I quickly go over and give myself a new look and a new name. Can I get a tighter shirt, Brick? Jesus Christ. And because in Borderlands 1 there aren't many customization options, I just decide to go for SNS Munitions colours, which is yellow and black. And the only yellow they've got is this piss yellow, so it will have to do. And my name for the first day will be SNS Bricknitions. I'll use any name ideas in the comments below for the next day. They sound quite cool though, I'm not gonna lie. I swear the vehicles in Borderlands 2 and 3 don't sound like that. Hey, I leveled up! There we go, see? But anyway, the way I'm gonna get to level 4 without killing anyone are the in-game challenges and specifically the scavenger challenge, which needs me to open 250 lootable objects and with two other challenges that I'll get along the way, I'll get a total of 4,000 XP and that will get me to level 4. But it's not as easy as you think because every time I save and quit, I have to do this entire part again where Claptrap gives me the Echo communication device and I have to run around the entire area opening every single lootable object and I think I found every single one in this little area and just quickly speed running through the whole place you basically see everything that I do and I had to do it 12 whole times before reaching level 4 come on hey another SNS munitions gun and you can basically tell it's an SNS munitions pistol by the yellow and black colouring. I'm not 100% sure, but I think they're the only company that makes guns that colour. Damn, how am I not on 250 yet? This make no sense, those. Hey! Finally, on the last actual thing in the entire area, we got it on the toilet. Look at this beauty. Claptrap, come here, look at this beauty. Hold SNS munitions, boy. I can hit. Yeah. Then after killing a bunch of people with my SNS munitions weapons, I meet Dr. Z. Not doing that. Hey, level up. Damn, there's not enough skill tree things in this game. I might just have to go like full. Yeah, tank. Hey, hey man, I'm friendly. Don't you. kill me. One more step and it'll be your last. Where your leg at, bro? What happened? Oh, I'm gonna. Uh, farm these for like a few tries. Essence munitions! Sticky grenades! Okay. I'll take that, thank you. Hmm. 
Nine toes. Ah, uh, he also has three balls. That's where I got it from. I can't see shit. Alright, uh, okay. That was a fail. Oh no, now all the, the puppers are here. Stick him. What's going on? Oh! <laughs> boom, 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 boom. Hold this, hold this, hold this. Yes! Alright, is the clipper SNS munitions? Shit! A purple Atlas shield before I see a single SNS munition shield. But then, very shortly after, someone very helpful in the Twitch chat let me know that I might start seeing SNS munition shields at level 13, which is going to be a big struggle, but I'll have to deal with it. TDR seems to be the most common. Oh, wait, no! There's full damage in this game! Oh! Oh, hello! Why am I running so fast? Is my game glitched? Yeah, so apparently when you use the Berserker action skill just before, like, either getting down, getting in a car, or going into a menu, you speed up drastically. So that's going to be pretty helpful in the future. No! Scar! Oh, yes! I got him! I think... And then I'll try this out, right? That will do. Yeah, let's go fight this guy. You actually have to stick it to him, other... Holy shit, man! What am I supposed to do against that? Then my genius Twitch chat told me about weapon proficiencies because I had no idea this existed. And all I need is a bunch of XP to level these up. So I just decided to go back to Skag Gully, farm Scar a bunch, and farm the two chests that I can find there. And keep doing that until I find at least one better gun and get myself to at least level 10. Uh-oh, 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 this thing's scary, this thing's scary. What are... Th Bro, badasses in this game are monstrous, what is that? Thing's eyes are glowing, dude. Crap. Is that all it took? Whoa, blue. <gasps> oh! 16 times 2 repeater. That is a huge damage increase. See, it's worth it. It's worth it farming these chests. They're good chests. Look at this beautiful thing. Killed. Oh, wait, maybe it did. I don't know. Who cares? Hey, I leveled up. Alright. And now that I've hit level 11, got a new gun. Now it's time for me to go and finally maybe kill Bonehead. Alright. Stay here, boy. Let me see if I can just shoot him in the head. What are you doing? What's he doing? Hey, 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 hey. what are you doing, mate? What are you doing? What are you doing? Come on. No. Yes. Yes, finally. Oh, I hate you. I hate you. I hate you so much. Uh, whatever your bloody head is. Yeah, hold this, hold this. Catch right. Then I head straight to the bandit slaughter area and search all the vendors because they will have much higher loot than I had before. What you got for me here? See, so yeah, level 13. Look at this SNS munitions sniper. This is where the shit is gonna go down. Oh, it goes up to level 15 here? Yes. This is when the game gets good. This is when the game gets good. Screw you, TDO, man. You suck. Oh, fuck. I forgot there's full damage. <sighs> Level up from buying ammo. Yeah, look at this now. Look at this beautiful bastard. Yeah. A thousand damage? Oh. Yes, I found... Oh, no, it's five grand. Money, 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 money. And after a very long time of constantly farming shield vendors, I still haven't found myself an SNS munitions shield, so I just head to Sledge's safe house, and it's time to just sprint through the entire place. Ah, oh, crap. Ah, oh, what the fuck is that? Oh, wait. Whoa, 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 what was that? He just launched at me. That wasn't very nice. Grenades. Wait, what? Are they not sticky? Oh, no, they are. Hold those. Come on. Come on. Please. Yes! 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 Oh, I'm not giving him no hug. He doesn't deserve a hug. Not today. Not not while I'm... Not without any shields. You see how spiky that armor was? Hello. Use. Oh. Uh -huh. Oh, that looks like a... Hey! A shotgun! Hell yeah! 
These poor dudes. Yeah. And now that I've got the key, I open the gate to the headstone mine. And just before ending the stream, I decided to quickly farm the shield vendors here just for a little bit longer. But sadly, I didn't get a single SNS munitions shield. But next time, I'll keep farming for one. And I'm just going to have to pray that I find one because I don't see myself getting past Sledge without a shield. But that's the end of the video for now. And if you got any tips for Borderlands 1, that would be amazing. And if you got any ideas for more challenge runs on this or any of the other Borderlands games, that will also be very greatly appreciated. And if you got a cool name for my SNS munitions brick for next episode, leave them in the comments below. And that's the end of the video. Thank you for watching.